Welcome to Ohio Imperialism. Most of you know how this game works, but for those that don't, I'm going to explain the rules real quick. We have a wheel with all of the collegiate football teams in Ohio to determine which one will be attacking. We also have an arrow wheel which will determine which way they will be attacking. For example, Ohio State was on the wheel and they were attacking to the west. That means that Ohio State is the attacking team and Miami of Ohio will be the defending team. If the attacking team wins, also known as the away team, they will take over the territory of the home team and that home team will be eliminated. However, if the home team wins, they will keep their territory and nothing will happen and we will continue until there is only one team left standing. Now that you guys have got the basic rules, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's see who will take over all of the state of Ohio. Going into our first spin here for the Battle of Ohio, let's see which team we're going to start off with and it looks like it's going to fall the way of Ohio State and they're going to be headed south which means that they're going to be going into the University of Ohio and no shocker here Ohio State is going to completely dominate Ohio finishing this off with a huge run right up the gut and they're going to take over that southern part of Ohio. Now the interesting part about this is that everybody knows that Ohio State are clearly the favorites to win this but because it's a simulation any one of these teams can pull it off and take Ohio State out and win Ohio for themselves. As you see that we roll Miami of Ohio next and let's see where they're going to be headed. And it looks like they're going to be headed northeast which is going to take them into Bowling Green. And they're going to march right in and they're going to take this victory handedly. 24-0 to as you can see the last play there gain of 6. But they're going to take over this northwestern part of Ohio and they're going to set themselves up with a nice bit of territory however that is one less team that's going to be in there to take out Ohio State somebody's got to do it let's see if it'll be one of these next teams as you can see our next team that we're going to be rolling is the University of Cincinnati in my opinion this is the best team that can take out Ohio State and they're going to be headed into the University of Miami Ohio and Miami of Ohio University down by 10 with a minute 30 left and they're currently driving let's see what they can do as they incomplete a pass there quarterback is dropping back and he finds his receiver for 10 yards currently driving they still have a chance even if it's a slim one as another dot to an open receiver but he manages to step out of bounds you can see his toes touch right on that white line second and 10 now as he finds an absolute dot to his receiver over the middle of the field, Devin Dorsey. First and 10 now, a minute and 10 left on the clock. As once again, he finds an open receiver on the left side of the field. First and goal. They're putting together a pretty nice drive here. As the quarterback's looking, looking. He's running out. He throws over his receiver's head. Incomplete. Second and 10 now, 59 seconds left. As Miami of Ohio gets sacked on this play. Third and ten now. Avion Smith. Let's see what he can do. 40 seconds left. Clock's ticking. He finds his receiver, Miles Marshall, in the back of the end zone. And this might be the worst onside kick I have ever seen in one of these. Miami of Ohio gets overtaken by Cincinnati. Go Bearcats. You guys must be thrilled with how that turned out. And I still think they are the favorites to take out Ohio State by far. And just like that, we're down to five teams now left. Let's see which one of these teams is going to be up next. Wheel is slowing down and it looks like it's going to be Kent State for the first time. Kent State can only play the University of Akron. And Kent State is going to go into Akron and knock off LeBron James' hometown 24-14. to They just take over and now we're down to four. There has not been a successful defense at all yet in this video. Let's see if the next one will be a successful defense. And let's see who's going to be attacking. It looks like it's going to be the University of Cincinnati. And they can only attack two teams. And they're going to be going into Ohio State to take on the Buckeyes. And Ohio State, 28-3, the first successful defense in this entire video handedly beats the Bearcats and they keep their territory and Cincinnati is going to have to try again another day let's see who's going to be next Will is slowing down and it looks like it's going to fall the way of Kent State let's see where they're going to be headed southwest guess who that is Ohio State once again and once again 
38 to 10. Ohio State is just going to manage to keep their territory. Can anybody knock off this superpower? Who's going to be next up? And it looks like it's going to be Toledo for the first time. Let's see where they're headed. And no shocker here, they're going to be headed. Hey, look at that, into Ohio State, and they're going to get knocked off once again. Ohio State back to back to back, just taking out the competition. Nobody can manage to knock them off, and it looks like it's going to be their turn to attack. Let's see which one of the three they're going to be attacking, and they're going to go into Cincinnati. Let's see if they can beat the Bearcats. Now, Cincinnati, unfortunately, going to fall here. They scored a late touchdown, couldn't get the ball back, and University of Ohio State is just going to knock off the Bearcats. And that might just be it, folks. Ohio State against Toledo and Kent State. Cincinnati might have been the only chance that anybody had to take out Ohio State. And it looks like Toledo is going to get another chance to attack. Let's see where they're headed. And they're going to go east, which means they're going to attack Kent State. And Toledo down by seven against Kent State. And they're going to be driving here as they get sacked. Finn gets sacked for minus two yards. And again, he's going to be running the same play. But this time, he's going to be gaining about 13 yards. Down by seven. First and 10 now, minute 17 left, and for the third time, the AI is running the same exact play. Let's see what they can do here, as he finds a receiver, and he manages to run through a Kent State defender, and manages to find a first down, fresh set of downs, 54 seconds left, first and 10, and he finds a screen to his running back, and that's big yardage, he's down to about the 30... 39 yard line or so first and 10 now as he finds an open receiver for a nine yard gain still down by seven 40 seconds left driving and he manages to find the first down now one time out left 38 seconds what are they going to be able to do here toledo looking scrambling throws deep almost picked off and then almost caught by his receiver that should have been game over and that could have been a tie game for Toledo but instead they're gonna run down the clock 16 seconds left 13 and 6 and once again the quarterback's gonna step up and he's gonna scramble now two seconds left fourth and seven and once again the fifth time that they've run that play on this drive and they're not gonna be able to take him out but Toledo is gonna be able to attack once again Kent State defended them Selves the first time to this time they're going into ohio state and ohio state defeats them toledo's not looking so hot it doesn't look like they're meant to win this challenge let's see where ohio state is gonna be headed and it looks like ohio state is gonna be headed northeast and that's gonna take them right into kent state and ohio state is gonna knock off kent state by 10 and now we're just left with two teams, Ohio State, the powerhouse that is and always has been, and Toledo, who has failed to knock off any opponent thus far. Final two, so we're going to see who's going to be attacking, and Ohio State is going to go into Toledo last game, up by seven, but Toledo still has a chance, only down by seven with two minutes left. Second and ten now, Toledo finding a receiver. And they're going to manage to get a fresh set of downs to Quan Finn, first and 10. And he's going to step up, try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked for four yards. A minute 30 left now, still down by seven. He's going to find the receiver. There's going to be a flag for holding, and they're going to get a 10-yard penalty. Now second and 10, he's going to dish it down to his running back for a screen pass, and they should have caught him, but he manages to escape and get a 16-yard gain. Third and one now, incomplete pass, fourth and one. This is for the game. And they tried to run a triple option and made a big mistake as Ohio State's defender just steps up, reads it absolutely correctly. And no surprise here, Ohio State is going to win this entire video. Toledo fought hard, so did the rest of the state of Ohio. But no surprise, Ohio State runs the state of Ohio. And thank you guys all so much for watching this video. The support has been really incredible. 
support me by subs clicking that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. If you like this content or want to see something else by me, make sure you comment on the video and tell me what else you want to see. What other states, what other type of videos you want to see. Until then, it's been Vitrano and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.